Hello everyone, this is Sergeant Diddy, and we're back again. This is episode 14, take 3. Okay, I was having issues um, saving the files that I was creating, and what was happening was uh, I, I totally derped out and thought that my videos were being saved to a different drive instead of a drive that had one point something gigabytes on it so it wouldn't save because it knew the file was not going to be large enough or it would be too large for the space available so basically in the first two rounds of episode 14 I upgraded the watering can two steps made an energy acceptor growth crystal growth accelerator six of those to make the crystal growth chamber made an inscriber and to make the inscriber, you need a sticky piston. So I went to a slime island over there and got some slime blocks and made a paper matok. Our AE system is very lackluster and is just sitting here. Um, my plan was for the next episode, which was going to be, well, this one was to finish making the terminal. But, uh, and we're probably still going to do that. In the end of the, you know, take two, I, well, during take two, I, I expanded this and found out that if you look, the, the torches between the two platforms that were exactly the same size that I connected, they didn't connect right. And come to find out that coming down three steps or ten steps wasn't enough steps, you needed to come down 13 steps. And since it's one, the first one's one block off the edge, that keeps the the uh, torch convention. And so I've got this set up and ready to ready to nix. So that's what I'm going to do here real quick is just nix this top layer and level the crap out of my pick. And I should put something. Obviously, underneath this water, because I didn't even think about that. And then fix the torches. And go upstairs and empty the inventory and pick up the rest of these torches. Or not torches, but these planks I'm going to be leaving all over the freaking place. And I did cut around the, the mob farm, so the mob farm floor will still be there. Until we can... I thought this was unbreakable. Did I not unbreakable it? Oh, we can do that now. So I guess we need to... And I cut it off right here, right at the edge of this bad boy. And I did pour out the two ingots, and they're probably up here. I should have two cobalts that won't fit in my inventory because it's too full. I don't think I need two. Let's jaunt down here. Actually, we're going to need both of those. We can roll back up there in a minute and get the other one. Um, it'll be okay. That's crafting station. We need the tool station. And that fills us up almost all the way. So let's roll back over here. It's good to level this stuff anyway, so this isn't just totally a total waste of time. But, uh, well, kind of. So, broke it again. I'm going to come up here, empty my inventory, grab that freaking one last piece of cobalt, and roll back downstairs. And I wasn't going to finish this, but we only got one strike left to finish it, and that'll be that. And it's now nighttime. There's probably mobs down there because I did leave some X's. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, no mobs. Okay. So let's cruise around here. Pick up all these. Because we're going to need these to finish off this deck. Did I get them all? I think so. We don't really need this crap. Oh, we're full anyway. Okay. So I still do have plans of 
repairing my pick. Of course. Durr. Repair the pick. And it may not level again. I was going to say it may level, but it doesn't appear that we're going to have enough blocks to completely get it to level again. And then one more round of dropping everything and we should have it. Oops, that's not the right button. Yep, we got it. And did we get everything? No. We're going to have to... But we can get on to the um, crafting terminal here in a second. Uh, we really need a terminal. And some better uh, drawer storage. That should be all of it. That is all of it. Let's just cruise around real quick and see if we left any torches or anything laying around. It's just look kind of strange with the floaty float there and the floaty float there. <laughs> but... <laughs> that will be taken care of. Maybe not today, because I got the... I mean, we needed feathers for upgrades for those fans. Right? Feathers. Um, they're not in here. Oh, we have just about... just about zero feathers. I mean, all the feathers. Okay, so... What do we need for the terminal? It's still up there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so after, like, two hours of trying to figure out why the hell I couldn't record anything, yeah, it ended up my hard drive was full. Which is amazing, because I have one 2 terabyte external, two 2 terabyte external, a 1.5 terabyte internal, and a 1.5 or a 1 terabyte internal, and then my SSD. And the SSD was almost full, so I moved all my documents, which includes the videos, which are large, and uh, um, then that filled up the. The one drive this stuff was on logic processor, illuminated panel logic. So that's gold. What goes in here? Gold. So we need three gold. Um, I think this is a crystal. Yes, three gold or crystal. And okay, that's it. So we need. Ay, ay, ay. This is crap. Did I? I may have already... I guess I didn't need to do that. Did I make any processors? I thought I started making these processors yesterday. Or earlier when uh, everything was being totally derptastic with Dippy here. I can't believe I freaking did that. I knew that was going to happen too. I was just making jokes. We were watching Linus Tech Tips, which is... Uh, me and my son, when he comes to visit every other week, we sit there and watch, like, Linus Tech Tips. He does computer stuff. We need that and the logic. And we're probably going to need that. We don't need this anymore. We need a service crystal. And we need some silicon. One of these has a bunch of silicon in it. Obviously not that one. And where is it? There it is. Okay, so we should be able to get the circuits we need. We need three gold and one of those crystal ones. Three, four. So we need four of these. And I want to automate this um, relatively soon because this is really damn slow. Okay, I'm going to have to bait. And I may have had a vape or two since this episode started. I don't mean to do that on can or on well in the recording because it sounds really weird. But uh, you know, s stuff happens. So what do we got here? Logic. Logic is these, I think. Nope. We need three of these. We're gonna need some redstone too. Yeah, and I would have done some of this preparation, but once the, um, what am I stuck on? And it's doing this crap again. Maybe? Maybe I do need to change the batteries in this. 
keyboard. I might do that right about there you go. Um I've got one of these right here. I'm gonna swap these out real quick while these are cooking. I played for like it was doing this the last time I was recording, but I wasn't really worried about it because, oh geez, I don't need that. I forgot these are single use items. And stupid things. I was playing for like half a, it might have something to do with, I don't know, overdoing the uh, USB ports or something, but I don't think that's it, because it doesn't do it all the time. Here, let me go like this. How does smacking the thing not get the battery out? Can't get a good grip right here. There it goes. I really just need to get a better freaking keyboard. This is one of those, like, $25 kits that comes with um, the keyboard and the mouse. I have very, very long time ago replaced the mouse with a different Logitech mouse and then that one was stupid. So I replaced it with a Logitech G06 or G602. And that thing rocks, but I still have issues with it from time to time well, hopefully that helps okay so now we have uh, some light and we'll dump that I guess get these in get these in pull this out get rid of that maybe Did I throw the other ones on the ground? Yeah. Where's my inventory? In older versions, this stuff would disappear while it was making that, which was kind of nice because then you could front load. At least I think that they, they, they did. I could be wrong. There's a good chance I'm wrong. But, you know, stuff happens. Okay, so now we have the processors, and we do still have a horrendous amount of freaking quests that we can uh, pick up. And that loot bag, I'm sure, will come join us here in a second. Okay, so now we can make this crafting terminal. We can start dumping some of this erroneous crap into the storage. So we need this. We need, oh, we needed, like, glowstone. Use quartz and iron. Pretty sure we don't have any glowstone over here, but we do over here. I can't remember how many we needed. And I'd really like to uh, either have a, yeah, we need to figure out some storage for these, like connecting the stuff. So if I dump this into this chest, it automatically goes back into its. Uh, thing about Bob goes back straight into its drawer I can't remember damn it uh, redstone iron fused quartz fused quartz oh this is gonna piss me off I tell you what maybe I made a little bit too much extra stone um, fused quartz iron okay and this makes three of these panels, these illuminated panels. You get, for, for this stuff, you get three of them. So you can make three terminals, or you can use these as just literally an illuminated panel for light. Um, Amy terminal, we need two of the, or, yeah, fluix dust. So we need to crush some fluix. And we have some right here. I don't think I'm going to do all this, but I'll do like that much. Because we, you do need it for different things. 
Do we get that over here? I'm gonna feel really stupid if we do. I don't see it. Okay. Not like it's hard to make, and there was something else we were missing. Uh, we can use the... Whoa. I should turn the hover off. That would probably help out quite a bit. We can use some of these, I think, for the... These cores. We've got a formation core. Oi, oi, oi. Formation core. And you got an annihilation core. We need fuel. I just went to the nether and got some of that, so there should be some over here. Right here. Annihilation core and formation core do just what it sounds. But they're components in things. So when you put these two together, then... So, you know, supposedly you put those two things together. We need, uh, uh, they, uh, in the crafting, in a terminal, it makes a, something that destroys things and makes them into something else. So they craft things, basically. Um, did we make this terminal? I don't think we did. And then we can make this one. Okay, now we have an Emmy Crafting Terminal, which will also be our gateway into the system. Since we're not using storage buses, and we're not using freaking interfaces, this is the only way that we will be able to get things in and out of the system. Right, so here's our search bar, crafting status. We don't have any auto crafting set up, so that's going to be empty. Um, you can sort by different things. You can view stored and craftable items sorting order search box mode a lot of people like to do jei synchronized i don't like jei synchronized i would rather terminal style small centered whoa yeah we'll stay like that for right now but now that we have this we can load stuff in here i don't want to load a bunch of crap in here right now though some of this stuff i want to keep on me I have all of them. Um, we don't need to keep the loot bag in there. The loot bag can go back down here to, well, let's leave them and go down there. <sighs> now we don't need to go down there because I accidentally just opened it anyway. Okay. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways we could do this. We could use cardboard box and bring it over here, have an interface somewhere, because I've made this really tight. Put an interface somewhere and or an import bus and just suck all the stuff in. Some of the stuff that I put in here can go in these drawers. Oh, that, that. Iron. I think that's it. So we've got two different places to store iron. Uh, one of such is right here. And we have a whole chest full of it over there. Which is kind of stupid, but that's kind of the way it's been going. Um, so basically what I want to do is the stuff I want to carry. Wait, where is my sword? Did I put it in storage? Or did I just randomly put it somewhere? I would assume it's in the storage. But obviously the store... Where in the hell is my sword? Okay, now that's going to piss me off. It's easy to spot because it glows. There it is. Maybe it's not that easy to spot because I missed it in there. Okay, so this stuff here I'm going to put in here. We don't need to put that in there. 
And this drawer here, the whole basis of this drawer, or this chest, was for me to put stuff in that we were going to use that day, like a prep drawer or chest. And it never ended up working out that way. What did I just throw in there? There was something... Okay, that was the gold, was the something. But you can look over here at this thing, and it'll tell you... Like, this drive has 28 items, and it's basically half full. And all these other ones are empty. <laughs> and there is a quick, easy way to swap things from disk to disk. Let's see. I'm going to take all this stuff, and some of it, like the gold, has drawers. Like, I really needed to go through this stuff and sort this stuff. For a while it's just I'm not spending as much time on this world as other such things like I had started a um, what do you call it um, modern sky block 2 stream which is kind of I mean, it hasn't ended, but it's it's pretty darn close to ended. Um, just because, you know, one of the guys that have been watching me for a while, because I did stream like three months ago, quite a bit, and um, he started following me then, and he's like, do you ever play anything that isn't Minecraft? Like, oh, okay, I could try that. And then I got into uh, Titanfall 2 because I had it. I've had it for a long time, actually. And I decided to start playing that. And I was like, you know what? I should try the multiplayer once I get about halfway through the story. Because the story is real quick. I think the only thing that's left in the story is just, you know, showing you how the rest of the Titans work. And I made it like halfway through the Titan list, so but I don't think I'm really missing that much. These things, I wonder what's in these things. I don't know which one of these has the. Um, okay. Which one of these has all the enchanted books in it? But the enchanted books, oh good, Lux Catania. The enchanted books really plug up freaking storage drawer systems. Like, it's nobody's freaking business. Like, yeah, it's insane. So, yeah, I guess I could probably... What metals do I have in here? Iron? And just gold, right? Yeah. I suppose I could... Not worry about all this storage right now. We have the storage system. Actually, let's grab some of this stuff anyway, and I need to put a chest down there with the Beatly Bob, the smell treated, keep the things down there. So, I want to show you that this thing works just like any other crafting table. Um, it's doubtful that you didn't believe me because there's a crafting grid right here. Well, let's look at, um, been talking about feathers and the upgrades we need some iron like I said we have a whole freaking buttload of iron right there so basically let's see 10 uh, extension max of 10 so we can go 16 because it starts at a length of six we need a redstone now is there any in there drawer full of it over here. I guess we don't have as much as I thought we had, but it's enough to do this. Okay, and it doesn't have to be in the system. It can be in your inventory just like that. So we're going to make 10 of these if we can. Okay, it helps if this stuff's in there because it can auto-feed itself. Fifteen. Fifteen is, is a little more than ten, but it works. And now we're going to need 
times six is another twenty three and six. Six nine. Yeah, that works. So we need four. Four would give us twelve, but that's we can hide, you know, make the thing extra wide or something. Oh, we used up all our iron. That's fine. Can I reach that? What I say? Four? Okay. And now, what are we at? 25? Okay. Now I'm just stuck. Okay, still got the jetpack on. What is this? That is exactly what I wanted. doing this again. I don't think it's the batteries then. Um, oh, thanks, dude. I was hoping. Maybe it is the connection to the server. Oh, well. We are using quite a little bit of memory, but I don't think that's uh, anything to write home about. Temperatures are just fine. Not worried about that. I don't know what's doing it. Maybe that's. I don't freaking know. That was the weirdest thing ever, though. I know there is. Where? I want to turn this off. Jeez, oh, I want to turn that off. I want the fans to... I don't have... Okay. Um, pick. Torches. And I don't like it when the jetpack sound goes away. Bugs the hell out of me that I know I'm in using my jetpack and it's not doing anything. Or it's not audibly, well, audibly doing anything. Thank you. Okay, so we can come in here, drop a torch. Um... You know what I did? Well, let's do this a different way. So this is six wide, right? And each one of these blows a one wide whatever, right? A one wide. We need the Yetta wrench. Um, blows a one block wide fan trail, right? It'll push things in front of it, which is one block wide. Um... When you add the width expansion, it goes uh, plus one. That doesn't mean that it's going to blow two blocks. That means it's adding one to either side, which means it'll blow three. Three blocks. Well, right now we have six fans. Uh, did I already put the other wrench in the storage? Maybe. There it is. Okay. We should be able to go down here. I have noticed that there are some tick differences between the computer, my computer, and the um, server. If you watch the time in the top right corner, every couple of seconds it'll flicker back and forth a little bit. That's because my system's, my client's time, and the tick time from the server are slightly different, and that's when they're catching up. So I don't know if it's something along those reasons why... <laughs> why my freaking keyboard is acting like a pile of poo. But uh, now if I take these, 
mob fan upgrades with modifier. If I take one of these and put that in there, that makes this one cover these two spots and the fan in front of it. If I do the same thing over here, we now cover the whole six with two with four less freaking fans. Now to make this work correctly or it look not so stupid, we need to come I guess we didn't need the other wrench. We can just go to disabled. And we don't want to be on the loot bag. Disabled. Get a wrench on the bar would probably be easier. Like that. We do need to get some... Um, slabs. Unless we have more than two now. We don't. Because we need to cover in that hole. The four holes in the back. And then... Oh, mouse, come on, keyboard. It's not distance from the thing, either. It's, 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 it only... Well, it actually only does it when I'm recording. But the recording isn't, like using that much CPU or anything, so I don't know what is going on. I'm not recording to a USB device that would, like, be using up a USB buffer. And then... And they're both plugged into USB 3. I don't know, maybe that's the issue. Maybe I need to plug in my freaking USB 2 hub in the back. Um, but, yeah, yeah, now we can get rid of this stuff. Come back over here, drop that, drop that. Everything should be everything should be red inside. Fans should be turned on. I'm not gonna jump in there to make sure the fans are turned on. I'm just gonna trust the fans are turned on. And I suppose we could collect up some of this crap. I don't know where all that stuff came from. Maybe down on the floor or something underneath we can put some of this stuff I, I don't know why I'm even putting this in here but it doesn't like the system down there isn't doing anything as long as this thing's backed up or isn't doing anything as long as that um, chest down there is backed up is what I meant and we can take oh uh, now that I got the yeah, I don't have the foggiest idea why um, it's been acting like that with the keyboard. It doesn't do it with the mouse. I guess they're on different dongles. I don't know how to set the dongles like I've to different um, devices. Oh, is this thing full? Huh. Let's see. Sixteen times thirteen, two oh eight. No, that isn't full. That shouldn't be full. So why is this one being funky? Oh, I must I already opened that one, that's right. Okay, that's not being funky. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's something I'll have to figure out. Why the hell? That is kind of weird. I don't, I don't understand it, but for right now, guys, um, we're at a good spot. I think in between episodes, I may rebuild that mob farm. So it's at the correct level, and it's wider, because we can go a lot wider now. We can go up to 16 wide with the one fan, and if I put a uh, one of these height upgrades in there, one, I don't think it'd be one. I think we'd have to put two. If I put two in there, then we could put that 
you know, the block below the slabs. And we could, oops, sorry. We could basically uh, stretch that one sideward fan that we can max out at 16 and we could take that to 32 or even more with having the one underneath the ground because it'll go through the, the blocks and then we can add a lot of fans. A lot of fans make that thing really big or at least twice as big as it is now at least and uh, we can add uh, distance modifiers to make it you know, not just wider, but longer, deeper, and that would make it better, because right now, I think it's, it's six by six, so, 36 blocks total, spawning space, whoops, I don't know why the sound is on on my phone, wrong button, but, uh, Yeah, 36 blocks of spawning space. We could easily make that, you know, over 100 blocks, and that'd make that a lot faster. But right now, it being faster is a mute point because um, the storage down here is nil. And it's full again. And, yeah. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to handle all the stupid... books because I think the books come out of the loot bags if we can start getting a whole lot of books we're gonna have to we'll keep the ones that we want the the sifting sifting efficiency I think is one of them uh, there's you can get Reaper out of those so you don't have to you know try over and over and over and over again to get a Reaper enchantment those are fairly common at least Reaper 2 and basically anything else you can imagine basically every enchantment has a book and there's a lot of enchantments and they come out of the bag so damn often that you can fill up freaking one freaking drawer in an hour or two of multiple different books or you know multiple drawers multiple different books and then you're you know trying to fill another slot with the same thing that you already filled up but that's beside the point i think i might work on that and i might try to get um, like another capacitor maybe, and I, I am not digging the windmills at this level. I did look into the windmills and it's based on, these are five block high items, so you got the base, two, three, four, five, you got five, the fifth block is where the reading is taken from, the calculation is taken from, and you can go from block 5, so the base is at 0, all the way up to build height, which is 250, and then the 5 blocks, so 255. And 255 would be the highest that you could actually go, and you get quite a bit of difference between ground level and, or, you know, where we're at, at even, which I don't even really know. Because my mini map doesn't freaking work. Um, 83. So if we went from 83 to, you know, 240 or 255, we'd be making a whole lot more power. We just have this ugly thing. Ugly thing. Keyboard. Way up in the sky, we'd have bunch of these with a cable that runs all the way down because we don't have any dimensional transceivers or anything at the moment and well now I can't freaking move so uh, right now we're over by 10 minutes anyway so I'm gonna let you go this is Sergeant Diddy signing out have a good day laters